Baby, come a little closer. I just wanna know your name or even tell you hi. You just looking really good to me. I just wanna stare deep off in your eyes. Na na na, baby, don't be scared, please. I won't bite if I do. It will be like black and sexy, baby. Like I'm literally laying in my bed thinking, okay, Dion, you're in a dumbass position, you know? You're out here being the other woman. You're not doing black women justice, okay? You're out here Olivia Pope in it. That's not cool. I don't like that. I don't want to be like that. You know what I'm saying? But I'm... He, he, <laughs> I don't understand your reference. A scandal. I don't even fucking like the show. But I'm... I'm I'm Olivia Pope without all the cool jackets. First off, I never thought we would even fall apart. She told me to be easy. I was messing with a broken heart. Line sounded cheesy when I said this would have hurt and stop. Never had intentions for a curtain drop. Sorry, my. Welcome to Black and Sexy TV's first all male talk show, Minute Man. I'm your host, Jeremy McBride from That Guy. To my right, I got my man. Desmond Faison from The Couple. Straight down the middle, I got my man, Andre Fuller from Roomy Love and Friends. To the left, I got my homeboy, Mike. Damn. <laughs> you gonna tame it. Broke it up, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you feel your toes, man. Straight up, well, basically, y'all know how we get down here on the show. Um, we go over topics and we give y'all a real, raw, uncut version of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. No sugar coat. So we got time for none of that shit. So, uh, Quit the beating around the bush, we're gonna get right to it. Okay. I don't think that does anything. It's all right. <laughs> In my head it does. I'm gonna pick a, a blue one. What you looking for, man? You I look? ain't looking. Someone in kindergarten wrote this one. <laughs> <laughs> How long would you, okay, I like this. How long would you be willing to wait to smash? Is a 90 day rule a deal breaker? 90 day rule is not a deal breaker, personally. Pers personal opinion, you know what I mean? If it's a situation where it's worth, if it's worth the wait, right. you know what I mean? You just, it's just really up to you. You gotta gauge that shit, man. You know what I mean? You can't, if it's after 30, you know what I'm saying? It's looking like, nah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think this is gonna work. You yeah. know what I mean? Then that's, that's your option to yep. make, make moves. My right. thing though, my thing with that, where I'd have a problem is if there was a rule set up. Word, you know right. what I mean? Like, like this ain't think like a man. You know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying the GM right. motor plane. Straight up. If things is going in that progression, we hanging out, we digging each other, and that's not, the, that's not gonna be the, you know, basis or whatever. We yeah. try to do something else. I need to, I mean, I'm not gonna lie and say it's gonna be easy. Right. Because obviously, if I'm giving her 90 days, I'm mad attracted to her, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Very I'm digging her mind and all that. So, we get the day about 80. I'm not gonna say it's not gonna be a struggle, yes. but <laughs> there, are, there are rare unicorns out there that's gonna make it be right. like, very true. The juice, the juice is gonna be worth the squeeze. You squeeze. <laughs> you know, the is worth the I, think, I think my problem would be I think that's childish if you got a 90 day rule and you tell me. It's gonna be a ninety day rule, right? Right, right off time. We we grown folks. We're yeah. adults. Straight I'm attracted up. to you. You attract to me. You feeling me? I'm feeling you. You know, we consensual adults. Yeah. And we feel like we should go there. You know, I'm not gonna be getting hot and heavy with a, with a female, and she all of a sudden pull back at the last minute and be like, "It's only yeah. sixty eight days." Yeah. Right. <laughs> like, that's that's child's play. Yeah. yeah. That's feeling it. Straight you, up, you teasing you me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I ain't got time to be teased. Man. I did that shit in fifth grade. I, I, I feel grade, like I feel like uh, I feel like a woman. But personally, I don't feel like if if you let me smash the first night or three months down the road, if I like you, I'm gonna like I you feel the same way. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So if you tell me, and be honest, 90 days is a long time. By then, we should be approaching yes. raw sex. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like 90 days, <laughs> we should be already approaching raw sex, much less just talking about having sex. Straight up. So you know what I'm saying? <laughs> 90 days is entitled to a race. Yeah, yeah. that's a so race. That's, that's a race. That's, that's a race. We should already be hitting it. You know what I'm saying? 90 days. days? That's 90 Raw? Raw? Oh, Three months is a long time when you just meet when you just meet someone when you get to know somebody. That's a long time. <laughs> I don't know, man. Man, in three months, I know if I'm a wife or not. It depends. I guess I ain't had no like real relationships yeah, like that because yeah, after ninety, I would wear a hat and tip. 
Nah, man, don't even let me get my super square bear. I ain't no square bear. That's real dead. Yeah, you supposed to take yourself, I wore yourself, a hat for, I wear a hat for you years. I'm not saying too. every woman, but you yeah. know. No, I'm I, talking about every woman. <laughs> I'm, saying, I'm saying, though, after 90 days, you should know that's going to be your girl for a little okay, while. Okay, so you can gauge so the wrong. So you can gauge the Okay, wrong. okay. <laughs> you gauge, gauge the wrong. Gauge of the wrong. Right. Okay. I understand. Yeah. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Like, like, I could potentially go wrong. I could potentially. At one point. Yo, if you tell me that assessment at that point. I agree. I could potentially go wrong. wrong you. Yeah, like straight face, exactly. Just That's like a that. Compliment. <laughs> you should, you should feel honored. <laughs> that wasn't technically a gaze you just gave either. No, that was straight face. That was straight face. That was straight face. Essentially, go raw on you. No gaze. <laughs> Will you marry me? <laughs> That's next. Right? <laughs> Is that right in that order? Yeah. I hear that. Oh, 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 so what, what, what conclusion we come to on, on that topic? You know what I'm saying? That. 90 day rule is stupid. Rule is very stupid. stupid. I agree. Any anytime, any anytime somebody sets rules, you know what I mean, doesn't let things happen organically. Yeah. You're setting up a failure, I think. You know what I mean? Yeah. You can't you can't gauge what happens naturally. You know? yeah. That's not life. You can't, you can't you know anticipate. That's, that's not that's not how that goes. Because you know? if you say you gonna let me wait 90 days, I'll wait. But please believe I'm gonna be trying to do right. some stuff. Of course, right? of course. Right. And, and be okay with that. Honor that. Yeah. You know, it's that time in our show. You know, unfortunately. What time is that? It's the time where, where a woman, you know, okay. they, they come on here and they, and right. they usually get the last word, right. you know, in most situations. So it's only right that we bring bring two beautiful, lovely women in today. Ooh, whoa. Uh-oh. Both of them. <laughs> we got the lovely Miss Shawana Davis and Miss Wendy Rose Berry. Come on in, ladies. Come on in, ladies. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Y'all just upstaged the shit out of this. <laughs> How, How you doing? How you doing? Nice to meet you. How are you, gorgeous? What's up, baby? Good to see you again. What's you up? too, mama. Beautiful. You got leopard garment. You got loincloths for you, girl. You know black women like leopards. That's loincloth. <laughs> Before we get into it, you know what I'm saying, give us, give us a rundown on what y'all doing right now, Miss Shawana Davis. You are on, on the show out here. Some I'm on show? the show playing the baby mama to this guy. Oh, what guy? I wonder. <laughs> that guy. I bet that dude is mess. I bet he is. Shawana, do you have anything else you're working on other than that guy right now? Um, You know, I'm just staying creative. I work as a beauty consultant. I consult a lot of major beauty brands out there. And Dope. Staying, Dope. Staying, staying busy. Shawana, where can they find you? Be Beautiful LA. Be Let's Beautiful LA. Get some beautiful brown girls and... I already know that. Poetry and all that all good right. stuff. Some very beautiful, right? The shit that she puts up, y'all should really check Just out. Just curating the sexiness, you know, right, for right, all of y'all that know that black is dumb. definitely beautiful. It's pretty, it's pretty dumb. And we also have the lovely Miss Wendy Rose Berry. Hello, hello. Gorgeous. Well, and um, Sarah, what, what do you have brewing at this current time? At this current time, let's see, uh, by day, I won't mention studios, but I work in TV marketing. And outside of that, I guess I consider myself an employed entrepreneur. So Dope. the day yeah. off today. Dope. I'm calling sick, so I'm not in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I legit took the day off. But um, yeah, I have a couple things outside of gearing my son up to graduate high school on June 6th. Hey, big up to son. Big up to son. Who's your okay. consultant? Dope. <laughs> That's <wanted>. dope. <laughs> <laughs> so it pretty, it's it's pretty, it pretty sick. much it comes full circle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We keep it in the family here at Black and Sexy, y'all. <laughs> That's wow. crazy. But our story, wow. like, as being best friends and being women and, like, living in L.A., it's Black and Sexy. I mean, I definitely think we have things that we could talk about. We won't be sharing it here. But <laughs> we won't have coffee, you know. Sure. <laughs> but, I mean, we've... You know, we we definitely are the Wendy and Wanna show at times. <laughs> uh, quiet is kept though. I went to junior college with Shawana. I know. I'm California. six degrees That's in black crazy. and sexy yeah. girl. Yeah, yeah. yeah. she's a cheerleader on my football, football team. Football three separated. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. that was my it's movie. Crazy. It's a small world, man. It's and then a small I, world. he didn't really talk, you guys. He didn't really talk. And, I can I can see that. Right. <laughs> and so to see him act, I'm just very proud of you. Oh. What's up, what man? Oh, howdy, baby. <laughs> howdy, baby. All right, so y'all heard the topic of discussion. Yeah. I mean, how how do, how do y'all chime in on that? Ninety day rule. The ninety day rule. Ninety day rule. Ninety days. Do, do you see? Would you see yourself setting up? Do y'all have? Would I be approaching like, you saying, "Hey, I got ninety days before you can hit this"? Nah, mm -hmm. not. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um. It depends on the relationship and the and my partner. Like, I don't go in with the rule of like, when you can hit it, you know what I mean? Because okay. ain't nobody really just coming up and hitting this. <laughs> you know, like. You gotta work. Yeah, you know, um, 
But if there were a 90 day rule, it's not just about intercourse. I mean, foreplay, conversation, all that comes into play. Um, not that I just jumped into foreplay, but I'm just right. saying. Just <laughs> the first thing you said, it's all right. The you first know, thing that came out your mouth. You know, yeah. some people want to just get up in it when you can kind of go around it and still give you that same kind of satisfaction. So, 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 so one basically telling me that if you would put a 90 day rule on me and me. Absolutely. <laughs> now that, no. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just putting a stamp on it. Like, you get it in 90 days. And you you, you didn't look me in my eyes. I said, yes. Ooh. Look, hold on, look, hold on, look him in the eyes. You get to hit this whenever you want. What takes in between? Yeah, okay, you're right. I got it. Ain't that your baby? The rest of the world. I mean, the rest of the world. What's going on? Is there a bridge of black and sexy I don't know about? Oh, man. I'm going to tune in. I'm going to read the fine print. We show links. Uncut. Yeah. That was crazy. That shit is always crazy. But but for real. 90, like 90 days just up front, like you you in the club. Club. Right? And I'm not calling you a club chick. I'm not saying that at all. And you and you you know, everybody that had them nights where you're like, hey, is feeling it, right? A little bit of that oil in you. Straight up, right? A little bit of that snake oil. Gotcha. Dude walk through, right? Buff like Andre. Come through through, winking. You know what I mean? New starter cap on, fresh shoes, the whole nine yards, right? Look He's like me. He's to act this out for me. He's doing it. Right? Oh, I was right he there. Was and not then, you know, look, I was getting to the point. I was getting to the point. Look like me. <laughs> and I'm like, hey, baby. And you're like, woo. Right? That's what he's like. But we in Vegas, though. Okay. It's like, it's, we in oh, Vegas. Do the 90 day rule apply everywhere or does it just apply when you're in Los so Angeles in your world, in your circle? It definitely applies everywhere. Everywhere. Oh, no. Now see in Vegas, I might let you, I might do what most men hate, like let you think you go. Oh, that's like, party fam. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, cool. I can't do this. That's can't do cool. this. That oh, oh, that's oh, oh, I mean, you said it was Vegas. If I would say you said it was Vegas, I would say, cool. you know, if I would I would have been drinking, I would have been a little out of my and I go ordinary, really you know what I mean? I mean you, in my ear, you smell my perfume. I know what it smells like. It smelled good, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, I might bend a little, but then I might come back to my senses and be like, okay, now that's me pulling you by your shirt. Like, you gotta go. Yeah. I'm like the night and day rule. Right right there. Like, well, and there's a friend like that in every group. You're damn right. You're damn right. Everybody needs, a, sure right. Everybody sure needs that watch guard. That is not it's happening. all good. That's nice. cock blocking is still alive, y'all. <laughs> no, 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 no. You know what? I think as we get older, we start trying all these different strategies. Whatever right. it is. <laughs> <laughs> Something your, you know, friends yeah. tried and it worked for them, or you read it in a magazine yeah. and you're like, okay, let me try that. I think I'm, I'm sure the movie. Uh, had a lot of people, a lot of women like, oh, I'm trying this shit, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like, y'all never had no damn 90 day rule. Right. I feel like maybe women set a 90 day rule so that a man won't look at them and say, oh, she, I got that too easy. Oh yeah, that's true. I feel like it's, it's what men think, they think what men think, but at the same time, I feel like a man's gonna respect you if he if he's gonna respect you. That's such way. a double standard. Like I got that too easy. Like, well, you were all up on okay. her, like to trying get to get it, and right. we are. But you know, so. if, if me and you go out on a date and we have a real connection, and I'm feeling, and we looking in each other's eyes, and you feel it, you know that feeling. Right. And and, and it's our first date, and I end up ha we having sex at the end of the night. I'm not gonna go in my car in that morning and be like, yeah, I hit that too easy. I'm gonna be like, yo, I've never felt that before. I see why very we true. did it. Well, you know, it's not true. like, nah, I hit that. That's, I'm gonna tell my boy, it's not like, damn, that was. So You're good. a game changer. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> sometimes you might have it like that and, and you might get married to that dude. You know what I'm saying? Because you never had that. Or you wait the 90 days and you get it cracking and it sucks and you're like, yeah, oh, I just wasted 90 days. Dang, with, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Waiting on this. Yeah. this and then you have this other bond, the other emotional and everything that comes with. So it's kind of like, you, you know. Do you coach him after that? What do you do? What's what's the, what do you do after I, that? Here's the thing. I think for most women, and I don't know if this is off topic, but a lot of women just don't know their own bodies. So, so you have to coach. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. That's very true. Um, this is not really the topic, but a lot of women, you know, I find I'm gonna be in 38 this year, whatever you want to say. But I learned my body a long time ago right. in my 20s, and a lot of women, a lot of friends that I know have right now, have been faking. You, you know, know what it is? Yeah. Masturbate, women. Oh, it's yeah. important to get to know your body. And again, bringing this back to what the topic was, um, it's just getting to know yourself and what you're comfortable with. If you're comfortable with meeting someone and feeling that feeling like you're open to the sun, moon, and stars, and I feel that energy, and I want to smash tonight or tomorrow or within a week, or you're like, you know what, 
I've done that in the past, yeah. uh, you know, and that didn't work. Or it, maybe it did work in some of those situations, but right now, where I'm at today, I want to take my time with someone, mm -hmm. and you impose a 60, 90 day rule. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Right. It's not anything. Self-evaluation. Well, there's if no I put in a 60 day, and, and I'm, I'm letting you know, I might break it. But I might say, <laughs> we got 60 days. But it might be in two days. I've had well, long term relationships over the course of 10 years, and both of them, I met, there was that attraction, we dated quickly, we dated for four years, I was engaged to one of them, like it was not a, a long, this long drawn out process, and it worked for those four years, and you know, so, you know. The moral of the story. The moral of the, moral, the moral of the story is that you shouldn't be putting restrictions on love and let that shit happen to I mean, you. but if you like Or having sex, any of that. Would you wait for her? Would you wait? Like, if she was just like, wow, she made you feel a certain way, and you're like, let me it try depends. it. It depends, yeah. That, that, thing, that connection is there, it's strong enough. I, I can't say that, that I wouldn't wait. you wouldn't, wait. right? Okay. Because there's some girls so who I just... open to some things. I would just right. be happy to take you out on a date. So, there's some oh, girls who I would... I like him. He's so <laughs> there's some sweet. girls like, you don't know Carrie Hilson. He's cute. He's cute. You gonna write me a just poem after Just being in someone's this. presence, you'd be like, this is good enough for yeah. me. You sure. know what I'm saying? So if she said 90 days, whatever. Can we hang out tomorrow? Straight up. Can we go to the park? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Give you a shelter I don't know that right however bad she is, if she says you have to wait ninety days on the first date, like to me that's just like right. it's not it's not right. the matter. Let me clear so nobody get. It's not a matter of the I have to wait ninety days. It's the matter that you're like you know what I mean you have to wait ninety days. You have to have a four hundred one k with this much money in it. Right. You have to be on this yeah. path. You, like I, like that's where I that's where I see it following. That's yeah. what kind of like, like to me approach. that'd be a turn on. I guess I will say this. It is important as, again, as a woman who's in my mid, pushing late 30s, it is important to set, um, I guess, not allow men to get so comfortable. And that's a lesson that, you know, yeah. I know mm -hmm. I've learned over yes. the last, and I'm still continuing to learn in that. Um, so that's why some women, I think, like to impose those sorts of rules mm -hmm. because, you know, it shows that they can be strong, they can be committed to something that, you know, mm -hmm. they put out there early, they stick to it, and it's just a part of, for them, it's a part of a checklist. They need that to happen in order for them to feel like this is worth moving to the next level. Oh, so, yeah. you know, I think that it is important that, you know, whether it's a 90-day rule or it's a, we need to talk on the phone rather than continuously have text message conversations or we need to actually make plans to do something and it doesn't have to be a month out but we need to kind right. of do things in a certain order right then there's nothing wrong with that. and well, if I you agree. guys don't work out at least you taught him a lesson absolutely you know or you learned one or you learned a lot a lesson vice versa and patience and love you know straight up we greatly appreciate y'all stopping in today, man yeah. You know, um, for coming in, we got to give y'all some gifts. Oh. What we got for him? For him, we have. Go. Do I get a t shirt? Oh, is it going to hit the puppies, though? Oh, <laughs> oh come on, baby. Black you know, we love them puppies. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Black and sexy. There we go. Okay. Appreciate y'all stopping in. Thanks, guys. Yeah, I'll start something I start. I finish everything. I start. I feel you trying to graze up against my titties. Oh, funny. Ha <laughs> ha!